Hi guys, this is Dana from Lanana.com with a new video tutorial on ZKT Tico software. So in previous uh, video we have uh, pushed our user information, user employee data into machine and we have deleted uh, one of the employee from the machine. So we have deleted a finger, a face or uh, just complete from and data from that machine. So in, in this video we will uh, download the attendance log from machine to into our software so let's move forward, forward to our slides mm. so download attendance log from machine so download user information fingerprint is complete okay let's move to our software our machine make sure your machine should be uh, connected machine is still connected and uh, we have to download attendance log uh, no new log so because there is no you can see log count is zero so we do not have any updated log on that machine we cannot uh, download the logs mm. so what should I do now because we can download download tennis log reading data no new log you can see okay uh, let me go to our my live environment here I will show you the download log how we can make a download so it's my live environment you can see uh, my one of machine is connected uh, low count for 66 uh, if I try to download attendance log you can see reading data and saving data so there is no updated log yet because all the attendance is downloaded so there is no updated log. If there is an updated log, just simply go and connect to your device and press on download attendance log. And the all log, uh, now it's reading, will be read the data. And if there is any update of log, it will be downloaded. So, now it's my own uh, uh, local testing machine. So I will just give you the uh, how to download your attendance log from the machine so now this part is complete and the next one uh, let's go to our slides and the next one is account manager how we can manage our device mm, okay so you can and set your IP schemes from software also and you can set your power of that machine advanced function let's see let's first set uh, our communication sets and that I have my first video I have yeah, give you the detail overview how you can set your IP on machine if the um, suppose the IP is set on that machine but uh, you want to change if your IP is changed now you can change still you can change through software you have the option you can change it okay, let's read what is my current IP scheme now it's reading from data from machine you can see uh, 192.168.1.10 is my IP and there is a subnet and gateway and, and all that it is a ethernet all the communication key and device number it's picked all that if you want to change the device number of that machine you do not need to go to the more sites and make a travel and go and spend all that money and all that and if you do not have any support assistant of that remote location because there is a such scenario in my remote machine in new york and now i am sitting in dubai and i do not uh, go to uh, new york and set my machine and just want to change my IP suppose 
we have changed our communication key I can change here and uh, you can change your all that data so you will, will access that machine okay next is advanced function mm, if you want to restart the device if your device is hand some way you know I have it are not responding and ma making issue uh, maybe a yes, time issue or something else you can restart your device it will again power up for many if you have just updated firmware anything else you want to switch off device you do not ask your assistant in your remote side please switch off the device and all that and someone forgotten to switch off and you, you still have the option to use power off your device initial device and clear admin privileges you can clear all the admins in the uh, biometric machine from here so i recently uh, done many times if i want to make an, another admin or enroller or supervisor so i have clear up before that i clear all the admins and assign the privileges or go to um, by um, go to employees and set up the privileges area so clear attendance log so you can clear attendance log so your machine is going to bottleneck due to because there is a transaction of one lakh transaction and because it goes uh, take a uh, much time to download the data when, when your log goes to 6000 10000 50000 because this machine has a particular depend on also on your speed in internet speed how uh, good speed you have uh, but it's good uh, how much time you have going to keep the log data one month two month three month four month and depends on you so if your machine is going to bottleneck so do not go to the machine and clear all the log still you have option clear all log from here so clear super log any super log transaction any uh, super user make any transaction or operational matter so you can clear it. So capture image and sync all that so let me read options let me read what's my current status of the machine what it is it's reading Still it's reading reading data. Mm. It's not getting let me get information from here. Device info. So now you can see what is the current status of your device. There are seven zero six a user on that device. Fingerprint count only four and fingerprint version is 10 face count only there is a 4 facial impression on that machine and low count 0 password count 0 super low count 2111 administrator count 5 product name iface 702 model name firmware version all that platform this one serial number and user this is the capacity of the user this is the capacity of log and fingerprint is a 2000 capacity of fingerprint 400 and all the current uh, mm, current detail of your machine you can get through this this is the account load so mm, let me let me check what is the status of my machines at the moment so it's giving me idle option power idle minutes is from one minute it is idle okay so this is a account manager so i hope so uh, you have learned uh, many things from my this series of lectures so still there is something left which i'll cover in because data maintenance is left uh, i will see cover in the next lecture so take care bye bye